wings report in. Red leader standing by. Viewers, hands of these gamers here, and welcome back to Subnautica. We've been away for two months, and for that, I am very sorry. But Dead Space went on a lot longer, and just things were happening, and I couldn't get around to recording this episode. But as of now, for the Monday and Friday episodes, I got episodes uploaded all the way until March, like around the end of March. So yeah, good on those. So, I finally figured it's time we get back to Subnautica, and as I promised, if this took all day to find. It took all day to find these parts. But, we got it. Near blueprint acquired. Be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. And yet, that is all I can do. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I did move my uh, vehicle thing to where my base is, which actually did make a few adjustments to my base, and I have done a few other things. But other than that, everything's. I haven't done any story things, just only this. All systems are alive. It for some reason it just bothers me when the doors are open. I don't know why. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, uh you can upgrade the like you can change the colors of it. Uh here I th think that changes the colors let me oh let me go let me go outside real quick I want to see okay so wait where what's what was the red actually I kind of like it with the yellow stripe I'm definitely keeping the yellow stripe I don't know what the uh I don't know what the red does though. Is that inside? I don't know. I'll, I'll figure all that out later. But before we go and do anything, we are going to be going to one of the islands, which I accidentally did run into one. I didn't go on it, but I did find it. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, before we do anything, we're gonna go do one quick little thing that does involve something new. Welcome aboard, Captain. I got a bed now! Also, how do you put windows up in this room? Like, do I have to find the windows? Because I have windows, but I think they're just for the hallways. And I also did find an advanced, uh, suit. One that, uh... Like, it's a stronger suit. Oh, wait, hold on. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Well, before we also do anything. Permission to come aboard? There we go. Yeah, and I'm gonna be turning this into a mobile base. Like, I'm gonna- I do have the, uh, planter now, which- let me see. Oh, I just need titanium. Sweet. Yeah, I do have a planner now. Uh, I might put this one, though, because it's just... Uh, uh, it will take up less room. I'm going to definitely put that in here. 
as well as this, which I have, hold on, I have copper, wait, do I have one in here already? I don't, uh, give me a sec. Okay, uh, I'm back. So now, I'm gonna put this one right here. And I'm going to also put a name on it. Mr. My Hot Pick. This is a friend of mine who gave me some very, very helpful advice on Xbox. And the advice that he gave me was, don't die. I don't know about you, but that's pretty helpful advice. Now, it, 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 his aim is longer, but, eh. I mean, it's still the same thing. You can shorten it. Uh, also want to... Put that right... There. There we go. And I don't have any seeds yet, but with where we're going to be going, hopefully we will find some. Because we are heading... Engine powering up. Because we're going to be heading to one of the islands. Uh, let's see, I th think it's in this direction. Head flag, emergency speed. Warning, vessel traffic, excessive noise. Standard. Uh, yeah, so you want to be careful if you use the maximum speed, because if you do, one, your engines will start to... Uh, overload or whatever and you'll make a lot a lot of noise you're also more likely to get damaged if you're running f uh full speed uh let's see ah there it is uh yeah and one of the reasons that the power is going down so fast is because i do have uh ooh, 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 i forgot to do some i forgot to do some uh Are they already off? Yeah, uh, so if you are piloting this thing, turn off your lights because it will help save power. Also, uh, I do have my Seamoth charging in it, so yeah, that's also gonna consume a little bit of power. Oh wait, I think I got a uh, upgrade for the for this too. Yeah, you don't scare me anymore, Reaper Leviathan. I have this baby. Yeah, so this episode, I've been gone for this game for a long time. So one of the things about this episode that's uh building. I uh, I think we can get off here. Just in case. Let me I really want to get the I really want to get the prawn suit for this. Oh Oh, that is... Hold on, hold on. How do I... I need to turn off those beacons. I want to get that screenshot. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, that is a lovely shot. Okay, uh, and I also forgot my flashlight, so yeah, I'll just use this. I mean, hey, it works. So... So what is this thing? It, it, like... Hi. I mean, uh, it's, yeah, it's a building, but like... I don't know, like, I don't know. Wait, where's my... Oh! There it is. Screenshot saved. Huzzah. Okay, uh, what's... What's... Uh, purple tablet. This carbon-based device is lighter than it looks, and it features a symbol which resembles a U. Lit up on... Lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it is abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. Oh, so it's a key. Huh. Okay. Uh, also, yeah, I do have a flashlight on me. Nope, wrong one. Yes, it is a flashlight. Okay, so what's on this island? I know that I know that you can find fruit on one. Wait. <gasps> Woo! Sweet, we can go inside! Oh, I, I keep trying to sprint. Ah, no, that's a screenshot. Thing. Yeah, you, yeah, you can't sprint. So, stop trying. Which, honestly, makes sense. I mean, it, a game that's focused on exploring the ocean. Yeah, it makes sense that they wouldn't really put it, worry about a sprint mechanic. Uh, we, we are going to go in. I just want to see if I can look around a little more, which I probably should have done it before going back down there. Like, I just want to see if there's anything of note. There is a tree up there. Wow, the aurora is no longer good. Ooh, path! I know on one of these islands there, you can find, uh, fruit trees. So, if I can find one of those, I can put that in... Ooh, I re- Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Uh, hold on. Give me a sec. I want to go run back to my base real quick because if I saw one of those things, guarantee I'm going to see multiple. So yeah, uh, be right back. Okay, so, uh, we're back at my base right now. Uh, I got a message while I was- Well, from earlier when we were going to the island. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get that a read. This is life pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. 7 out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Hmm, okay. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to come get uh, these in case of anything. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick check back over here, see if I have any more titanium to build some more stuff on the on the sub, and then we will head back. Okay, so we are coming up on the sub. Ugh, every time I hear that reaper roar, it just gives me chills. Yeah, I'm not going to put it back in there just yet because I want to go in and do something. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. And I did find these plants, which uh, do give water, so there's that. But 
first, we're going to go ahead and do... Uh, we're gonna put this one on... We're gonna put this one here, like, in, in this room. And right there. Put that there. And we're also going to put this, but we're going to put this right here. Okay, and wait, we have another message? This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Huh. Okay. Cool. So, guess we're getting out of here soon. Uh... Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Calorie intake recommended. Oh, okay. So apparently whenever one cell goes down, it then just goes to the next one. Wait, is this? Ah, dang it. I left it back at the base. I have an upgrade I could have put. Uh, dang it. Uh, but I do have, uh, power cells on me, but I don't want to put them just yet. So I'm just gonna put these in here, so thanks. So thanks, Opic, for, uh, thanks, James, for holding on to these for me. Uh, and I did have these from a thing, from a capsule. So yeah, I brought them along just in case. Also, sorry if you can hear stuff in the background, but apparently everyone... Whenever I put the sign on the door that says to be quiet... And there's my nephew banging on my door. And... Booski! And just in case... I'm just gonna go ahead and equip this right now. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Self-scan complete. Foreign bacteria counters reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. What? What? Okay, did, okay, y'all heard that, right? The music started picking up and then it just stopped. Hold on, someone mentioned something about my gloves. Let me... No, I'm not... Not seeing anything. Someone said that if you take off your gloves, you can see something on your hands, but I uh, haven't seen anything yet. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Discovered inside an alien facility, it is not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device on the device itself. It is likely solid state computer, although there is no clear wa clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began a pr producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species with which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telep telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more physiological 
Intellectually developed than the common human. Assessment. Further research required. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? what? Uh, I'm guessing this is an elevator? Wait, wait, I can scan that. The device matches no known technology that is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via thermal terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance of functions like a regular lock and only requires a correct kind of key. Ooh! I can bring the, uh, some, I can bring my, uh, Cyclops in here. Sweet! I'm not going to swim out there, because there's death out there. Guarantee it. But, I mean, I could. Oh, we got another message. So yeah, that's gonna be the last thing we're gonna do today. Facilities control room lies beyond this doorway. Sweet. So yeah, we're definitely making progress here. Uh, by the way, let me uh, I learned my lesson. We're not doing that again. What's that? Um... Hi! Hello! The heck?! The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. The weapon? I'm sorry, the weapon? What weapon? Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. This device houses energy. What was that? Ooh. More facilities. It mentioned a weapon. What weapon? Doomsday device. Oh, <laughs> sure, why not? Scans indicate that this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Unfortunately, it is malfunctioned. Great, fantastic. But yeah, it mentioned a weapon. Care to elaborate? Like, really, do you care to elaborate on weapon? What? What weapon is there? The only thing that I can think of is that this isn't a research facility. The question is... Like, the question is like, what, what is this, what is the weapon? What, what, what weapon are they? 
Is that something I have to find? Like, is that something I have to find? Like, is it somewhere? Is this place the weapon? Like, is this place the weapon itself? Hold on, hold on. I let me let me get outside. I want to see some. I want to see some. So. Okay, so is is that the weapon? Like really, is that the weapon? Play partially translated broadcast. <laughs> Subjects designated mode hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. What? I'm sorry, what? You're what? Agents? Life signs? What are you talking about? Oh, and uh, just in case anyone states it in the comments, I do know that this thing... Uh, those are not supposed to be right there, are they? The boosh! Yeah, there a lot of people are starting to join the party now, so yeah, I'm gonna start wrapping it up. Uh, also, uh, this is the bobo tree. It it makes huh? water, like you can get water from it. Watch. Abaska. 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 Yeah, you can get water from that. Ooh, I got a lot of these now. Just swish that. Yeah, I mean, ooh, I didn't know it had limit. Okay. But yeah, I mean, now, yeah, if I get enough of these and put them on my sub, then yeah, I'll be good to go. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, a lot of people starting to join the party now, and I guess they're probably gonna be waiting for me. And I think we're at a pretty good spot to stop. Uh, oh, we want to... Okay, next episode, we're going to explore more of the island. Because I didn't... I I had started to, and then I turned around. So, yeah. Next episode, we will follow that path, and we'll go explore more. But... I'm... I'll say this. I'm glad to be back. I am <sighs> glad to be back. You little... Go away. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. With all the horrors and everything, like, I am... Like, I am glad that I am back with all the horrors and everything that has to do with Subnautica. Come on, I don't want you falling in the water. Ah, yeah, whatever, it's rock. But, yeah. That is going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll go explore more of the island, and we will pick up from there. So, with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a like, and as always, please me a comment down below. Chris comments are Omadak, I'm Bruvenese, and I love chatting with y'all. Now, if you want to chat with me directly, check out updates on the channel. Check me on Twitter and Instagram, at Anthony's Gaming. And, with all that being said, I will see all of you in the next episode.